detailed explanation of user access authorization controls testing within IT general controls, ITGC, audits. Purpose. Ensure authorized access. To verify that only authorized users have access to IT systems and data, preventing unauthorized access, modification, or misuse of information resources. Protect data integrity. To safeguard the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data by controlling who can access it and what actions they can perform. Compliance. To meet regulatory requirements and industry standards that mandate robust access controls for data security and privacy. Key controls tested. 1. User access management, provisioning and deprovisioning, review processes for creating, modifying, and terminating user accounts to ensure timely and appropriate access changes. Segregation of duties, verify the duties related to access granting, system administration, and security are separated to prevent conflicts of interest. Role-based access control, RBAC, evaluate the implementation of RBAC to ensure access is granted based on job roles and responsibilities. 2. Access authorization, approval processes, review procedures for approving access requests, ensuring they align with job requirements and authorization policies. Access restrictions, test controls for restricting access to sensitive data and systems based on user roles and data classification. 3. Access reviews, regular reviews, assess the frequency and adequacy of periodic access reviews to identify and revoke unnecessary access rights. Documentation, verify that access reviews and approvals are properly documented for traceability and accountability. 4. System and data security, password management, evaluate controls for strong password policies, encryption, and secure storage of passwords. Intrusion detection. Access controls for detecting and preventing unauthorized access attempts, such as firewalls, intrusion detection systems, IDs, and intrusion prevention systems, IPS. 5. Monitoring and logging, logging activities, test logging of user access attempts, successful and failed, for audit trails and incident investigations. Log review and analysis, review procedures for monitoring logs for suspicious activity and potential security breaches. Retention. Verify that audit logs are retained for a sufficient period to meet compliance requirements. Testing procedures. Interviews. Conduct interviews with IT staff responsible for user access management, security, and audit functions. Documentation review. Examine policies, procedures, system configurations, and access control settings. Testing techniques. Employ tools and techniques to test access control effectiveness, such as penetration testing and vulnerability scanning. Log analysis. Review access logs for anomalies, unauthorized access attempts, or policy violations. Common findings and recommendations. Inadequate controls. Identify weaknesses in access provisioning, authorization, review processes, password management, or logging. Recommendations. Focus on strengthening controls, implementing technical solutions, RBAC, encryption, intrusion detection, conducting regular reviews and audits, monitoring logs, and providing user awareness training. Importance. Data protection. User access authorization controls are crucial for protecting IT systems and data from unauthorized access, data breaches, and compliance violations. IT security and compliance. Effective testing and continuous monitoring of these controls are essential for maintaining IT security, ensuring data integrity, and meeting regulatory requirements.